Hello my sweets, welcome back to Beauty Meets DIY. This is Helen, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are doing well and that you're looking forward to spring as much as I am. Anyway, so it's on today's video, I'm going to talk a, a little bit about the glitter that I shared with you in my last video. So coming right up, as you can see, I have shared with you um, my Gold Lux Edition and my Crushed Diamonds, the Gold and Silver. I do want to point something out though. These glass containers are only for video purposes, just to show the glitter. Uh, they are four ounces and what I do is that I fill them up and then I place the four ounce worth of glitter inside a pouch and so the actual glitter comes in a pouch if you guys are interested um, my email is right here on screen so that you can order so today for the first time I'm giving you a sneak peek of my rose gold Lux uh, glitter and my champagne blush so the one on the left is the rose gold and the one on the right is champagne blush so for today's DIY, I'm going to be using a 16 by 20 canvas and I picked this up at Ross. And that's usually where I get it. If I don't go to Michael's, I go there and I get it for a good price. So here I have some white acrylic paint and I'm mixing in some fine white glitter. And I'm only going to paint half of my canvas and you're gonna see why coming up. The inspiration for my DIY is these lovely girls right here. As you can see, they come in different colors, so you can create any color that you want. So basically what I'm doing here is that I'm going to find the center point of the top of my canvas, and that's where I'm going to attempt to draw my line. Um, I didn't really do a good job at this at first. Um, I really wanted to follow the curve of her hair but I really didn't do a good job mimicking. But one thing is that I am using a pencil and I do recommend that you do the same because if you make a mistake, you can easily erase it and do it again. As far as her lips, we're gonna find the center point of the side of your canvas as I'm showing you here. And that's gonna give you a good idea as to where you want to uh, draw her lips. See that curve right there? I'm kind of mimicking the picture, my inspiration picture, and that's where I'm gonna go ahead and try to mimic her, um, her lips. So as you can see, she has kind of like two streaks or two highlights or whatever it is that you wanna call it, and so that's what I'm doing. I'm mimicking it the best that I can. Don't judge me, please. I'm doing this freehand. Um, but yeah, you wanna go ahead and do that. I'm using this Rose Gold by Folk Art. I wanna say it's more of a metallic paint. Nonetheless, it is pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and paint those in, those two lines. I'm going to paint those in because I want to try for them to stand out a little bit just like they do in the picture, in the inspiration picture. I'm gonna do the two. And now once that's dry, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use some Mod Podge and I'm going to section by section, I just wanted to go ahead and apply some of this gold leaf. This is an extra step that you don't have to do. I decided to do it. I'm not an expert. As you can see, this can get very, very messy, you guys. I'm not an expert. I think I've only used gold leaf maybe twice. Um, I am trying to get the hang of it, but uh. <laughs> um, nonetheless, it really did turn out nice at the end. Like I said, it's an extra step that you don't want to do. Uh, you don't have to do. I just decided to do it. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to apply just to the two lines there. Once that's dry, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle on some glitter just to give it a little extra spark, a little pop. Uh, not too much, just a little every so often as you can see. And now everywhere in between, I'm going to use my Glam Glitter Mix and this one is called Champagne Blush. And that's the sneak peek that I gave you today of it. And so you really want to be generous with your Mod Podge or whatever glue is that you're using because you really want this glitter to adhere well. This is not a fine glitter. This is a very chunky glitter. It has a lot of substance, and so it really has to have something to hold on to. All right, so moving right along. Um, I did want to print the lips out and cut them out to size, but I ended up breaking my copy machine. Yes, I did. My husband was really, really mad at me. Uh, so here I am. <laughs> 
trying to freehand these lips you can do what I'm showing you here also shine a light behind it follow the uh, shadow once you print it out to the size that you want that's another option but this is how I did it I don't think I did too bad I think it actually turned out really well so now for the lips we want to go ahead and um, apply some glitter there make them stand out of course and I'm using Mod Podge and just um, this glitter that I'm using I think is called actually I think it's called champagne and it's by I got it at Walmart and it's really pretty and surprisingly it matches really well with my glitter so that was nice and now obviously I'm painting in her eyebrows So you guys, help me come up with a name for her. Um, I've done quite a few girls so far. One of them is Jalen, my daughter. The first one was Louisa. What should we call her? Help me come up with a name. <laughs> Comment down below and let's decide what we should call this glam girl over here. If not, you can always call her Helen. I don't mind looking glam at all. So you can call her Helen if you can't come up with a name. But here I am, I'm freehanding these uh, lashes. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, you know, trying my best. One thing you can do is you find some fake lashes. That will look awesome. I didn't have any at home, um, but that would look beautiful if you can apply some nice chunky uh, fake lashes to her. It will really, really make it pop. And off camera, I'm going to go ahead and darken them up later on. In the meantime, we're going to do her eyelid. I just took some pink and some of that kind of goldish glitter I had laying around, and I'm just doing her eyelids. And that's about it. And at the end, you want to go ahead and seal her. Um, this is how she turned out. Oh my God. She turned out gorgeous. Uh, I do recommend that once she's fully dry that you seal her with either Elmhurst clear glue. Love that one. Or some resin. Or if you want some Mod Podge. I'm not a fan of the Mod Podge because with this glitter, it's so pretty. You, won't, you don't want to cloud it out. You really want it to shine just the way it is here. And I just love the way that she turned out. I really want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you who have ordered the glitter and have loved it as much as I do. I really put a lot of work into it. I wanted you to love it as much as I do and so I'm so glad that you guys have ordered it and thank you so much for supporting my small business. Um, I really couldn't do this without you guys so yeah let me know your thoughts about the glitter. Let me know what you think about it. I really want to hear from you guys and if you are going to recreate her. Let me know what color theme you are going to go with. Uh, I just want to mention that the printout for these girls, I'm going to leave it down in the link below. So if you guys want to print it out and use it, I'm going to go ahead and leave it for you guys um, down in the description box. And of course, my email is also going to be there in case you guys want to order. So the new addition again is the gold the rose gold luxe and the champagne blush thank you so much for watching you guys and i'll see you on the next one give me a thumbs up bye